Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Explosive offenses on virtually every campus in the Pac-12. Time to establish a little pecking order with this early season matchup in the Pac-12. That does it for us here on the NCAA College Football pregame show. Enjoy the game. We'll see you at the half. Oregon is Reeser Stadium, the battlefield for this game. Before we head down to the field for the coin toss, we'd like to remind you this game is brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. Colorado tees up the ball as we get ready for the opening kickoff. Caught at the eight. And he's tackled at the 30-yard line. Oregon State's offense really centered around this quarterback, and as he goes, the team seems to go. Kirk. Brad, over the weeks, I've been watching him on film, and one thing I've seen is his ability to make good decisions. I mean, time after time, he just avoids the mistakes, and when you can do that as a quarterback and as a leader of an offense, you're going to move the football down the field. Nice run, and he's brought down. Levine picks up five with the carry. That makes it second and six. From their own 35-yard line, it's second down. Makes it out to about the 43, and the tailback broke that one for a very nice game. Give the offensive line some kudos there. They blocked very well up front to create the holes for this back. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. They go with the toss. He's knocked out of bounds at the 29-yard line. The thing about the toss is if the blocking is set up well out in front of the runner, he can really pick up a good head of steam before he encounters any potential defender. From the 29-yard line, first down. Thomas up the gut. Good outside run there. in the passing game can really open things up on the outside for your real speedsters. It's first and ten. Ball on the 11-yard line. And he makes it out to about the 8-yard line. Williams is the kind of guy that's work ethic really pays off. Right now, he's playing some special football and leading the conference statistically. And this play is number eight on the drive. Goes complete. He's hit right away. That'll bring up third and two. 
So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. He's under pressure, and they bring him down for a sack on the play. A great defensive end in college football just pins his ears back and has, again, that extra instinct to know when to jump the snap count, when to take a chance on third down. And it seems like they almost save their extra pass rush and extra incentive as far as their, their energy when it really matters on a third down, when they feel like they can beat that offensive tackle and get off the line of scrimmage a little bit quicker. And that's something that I think we've seen him do throughout this game. And the field goal is good. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. Anderson has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep. From the eight-yard line, he's out to the 30. Oh, what a hit. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. Nice run there. Harris gets six yards on the carry. That brings him second and five. From their own 37-yard line, it's second down. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. They'll bring him down right around the 48-yard line. First down. From the 48-yard line, first down. He's into the open field. And down he goes at the 31. That's a team of 17 on the play. That makes it first and 10. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 31-yard line. Red two, go. Fires back to the tailback, but he can't bring it in. Get it to the 21. He airs it out. That close to being intercepted. Boy, Brad, this guy drops an interception. What's ironic about that from going to the meetings the other day is that this guy's been telling the coaches he wants to play some wide receiver. You wonder why you're not playing wide receiver? Because you can't catch the ball as a defensive back. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. The quarterback leads his squad back out. They got three on their last possession. Oregon State has a three-point lead. He gets out to about the 22-yard line. A tight, low-scoring game in that first 15 minutes. Let's see if things open up in the second quarter. 3-0, Beaver. Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. Ready! Green up. Pressure got to him, and he put it on the ground. And they fall on the loose ball. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. They nearly gave that ball away. But luckily, that guy was paying attention to what was going on and was able to recover the football. Hey. 
Third down and 11 coming up here. Ball on the 19. Wants to go long and does. Uh, and this one's going to get intercepted. Tackle around the 33-yard line. And just a great interception by the cornerback. Well, that's big time. He made a great read on the quarterback and got in there for the pick. From the 33-yard line, it's first down. Let's it fly. Tackle made the seven-yard line. The tight end came up with a nice catch that time. Yeah, the big fella's pretty athletic for a tight end. And as a quarterback, it's always nice to have a big target like this to go to. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. four-yard line. And they make the stop at the one-yard line. Oh, and he had some steam on that throw. Only three yards there on the throw. It's a nice completion, but give the defense a lot of credit. They weren't fooled at all. They were able to hold him to a short game. So here it is. Crucial third down as they try to take the lead. Touchdown, Buffaloes. And he adds the extra point. A four-play, 32-yard drive. And the result, seven points. Colorado gets set to kick this one away. Young from the nine. He's out to the 30. Looking for the corner. Tackle at the 34-yard line. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Tackle outside after a nice pickup. They're about four yards away here on second down. Taken down at about the 41. That makes it third and three. Got it. Complete. He's out of bounds. From the 47-yard line, first down. Here we go. He's taken down at the 30. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 30-yard line. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. That makes it second and six.
He delivers. They can't connect. Incomplete. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 20. He's tackled at about the 23-yard line. Maybe three yards that time on the pass. Doesn't look like this defense is going to let them beat them with the deep passes. So they'll allow those short completions to the tight end. team's offense itching to get back on the field from the 17 yard line first down completes it and he's hit hard immediately so it's complete but they didn't get much there and that's because the defense was just waiting on it and they attacked the quarterback should have found somebody else downfield the 10 the 5 touchdown beavers Hey, for this guy, it doesn't matter how it's drawn up. He can make his own play as he goes along. That was a nice run. So the kicker will line up here and try to give his team a three-point lead with this extra point. He makes the PAT. A 10-play, 68-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drop. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He's to the 20. He gets out to about the 28-yard line. A well, really a defensive battle going on right now so far, Kirk. Well, the defenses are flying around with the football, doing a good job. I think both offenses are making it a little easier because of their style of game plan. I think uh, the offensive coordinator, take a few chances. Be willing to open it up and try to give your quarterback a chance to make a play. Last drive ended with as good a result as you can hope for, and I'm sure they'd like to replicate that here. You can bet this defense made some adjustments on the sideline, though. I don't know if they can stop the passing attack, but they need to at least be able to slow it down. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Black five, black five, down. <laughs> Grabs it, and he might go the distance. He's at the 40. They'll bring him down at the 33. Colorado's going to have to use their second time out of the half. Throws it deep. Caught end zone for the touchdown. He hits the PAT. It was a quick three-play, 71-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. Boy, that is scoring in a hurry. This offense is looking more and more explosive. So our score, 14-10. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Young fields it at the 11. He's tackled at the 34. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Set, 10 Cross is out to the tailback on the screen. And down he goes, around the 36-yard line. We played a half. The Buffaloes lead 14-10. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation, 
that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. I'm a fan of seeing guys one step rep, two step squeeze, bring your feet, arrive with bad intentions. Uh -huh. uh, I don't want to take anything away from these defensive guys, David, but. Could this be that we're seeing a healthy dose of some pretty bad offense, too? It goes hand in hand, doesn't it, Reese? I mean, well, sometimes. usually, sometimes, uh, you know, pretty good defense makes, you know, average offenses look really, really bad. But, you know, when you have a great defense and you can take something away, especially the strength of the other offense, and make them do things that they don't do exceptionally well, and, you know, don't let them throw the fastball, make them throw the curve. And you see great defenses be able to do that all the time. And, and that's when you can be ultra successful. You have to find ways to make people play you know, the game out of their comfort zone. Just about ready to start the second half. We're going to watch all the games around the country, including some coaches who like to sample the surface that they're playing on. I'll, I'll keep an eye on that. Yeah, I'm going to go to the cafeteria. You want some turf, some astro turf or anything? Yeah, if they've got some, I'll chew on that in the second half. Here's the second half for you to chew on with Brad and Kirk. All right, Reese and David, thanks, guys. Second half action, just about ready to start here. Smith from the three. And he just got drilled. Both teams are kind of struggling to take control of this game. Obviously, they're both very, very competitive with one another. It just seems that the lead is going back and forth between the two teams. They're two for two in finding the end zone on their last two drives. Let's see how they do here. Colorado holds a four-point lead. He's got it with room to run. He's tackled in the open field. Young makes the tackle at the 32-yard line. That makes it second and six. Second and six. Ball on the 32. Black one. Fine. Big hit there to stop it. Still going to be short. Moore awaits the snap. And he's taken down at the 45 yard line. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Makes it to the 47. That makes it second and two. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. He makes it to the 32 yard line. Six yard line. It's first down. Here we go. Lighting. Lighting. 
gets it. He's in space. Tackle at the 12. Just another weapon for this offense. He's got good hands, and he's tough to bring down. He showed right there that he can make something big happen. Hand off, and he's met in the backfield. That play was over before it got started. That was just a case of the offensive line getting beat at the snap of the ball. It's second down, 12 to go. Ball on the 15. The ninth play of the drive. He throws. Fourth down. This one should be makeable. He gets it up. And it's through the uprights. Anderson has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. He makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. We're about set to start things up again. Colorado, up a point. There's a strike complete. He's down. Still no look to tackle at the 34-yard line. That brings him second and five. Second and five coming up here. Ball on their own 34. Red two. Quickly, and he's got his man. He's at midfield. He's pushed out of bounds. Right around the 34. First down. It's first down and 10 now after picking up some great yardage through the air. Strike complete. Touchdown, Colorado! Nicely designed play to the wide receiver, and it got him six. You said it, Brad, in a good time to call it. I tip my hat to the offensive coordinator. And doesn't it always seem like he just finds a way to get open? Tacks on the extra point. So a short three-play, 70-yard drive, and they put up seven points. And Brad, you're going to move the ball at will when you're able to execute the pass game like that. Those big plays eventually are going to lead you to touchdown. So the score now, 21-13. He's out to the 30. Tackle made the 36-yard line. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Levine on the run. Tackle made at the 47. One quarter to go, and this looks like it could come down to the very end. 21-13, Buffalo. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. Ready, and he's tackled at the 46-yard line. From the 46-yard line, second down. the middle for a nice game. Here we go. 
Brad, I think they're showing a lot of confidence in this running back. Here's third down and medium. In some cases, you might be thinking that the offense would want to pass, but instead they give it to their back. And he shows that they're not wrong in being able to pick up that first down. And they make the stop on the 23-yard line. the 23 yard line first down and he's level at the 22 yard line that brings up second and nine First and goal, and a field goal won't cut it. He gets rid of this one. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. Taken down around the six yard line. That's good for a gain of one yard. That makes it third and goal. This is from the five yard line. It's third and goal. Less than three minutes in the game. Throws quickly into the end zone. Caught for the touchdown. to the passing game. It was absolutely the right call in that situation. Very important play coming up, and if they can get these two yards, we'll have a tie ball game. So a 10-play, 63-yard drive, but they just get six points after failing to convert for two. Anderson is lined up to kick this one off. He's to the 20. Across the 30. He's taken down at the 36. A score here might effectively end this one. the middle that brings him second and five second and five ball on the 41 So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. Just under two minutes in the game. Gains his way to the 40-yard line. Fred, that's a huge first down for this offense. At this point, the defense's only hope is they've got to try to rip that ball away from the quarterback or the running back to get the football back to their offense because the clock now is a big time. Down at the 44-yard line. Oregon State will take a timeout. That's their second of the half. 
Second down, 14 coming up here. Ball on the 44-yard line. He makes it to the 42-yard line. A two-yard run by the halfback. Boy, the senior linebacker's experience really showed on that run. He sniffed it out perfectly and made the tackle. He's tackled right around the 40. going to aim this one to the sideline, try to kick it out of bounds. has got an opportunity to win this game. This defense has got to come up with something to try to rattle him a little bit. This is going to be exciting to see if this defense could slow him down because I'll tell you right now, if they don't put pressure on him, they're going to give up a winning score and it's going to cost them the game. This is a pretty crucial series right here with things being so tight. Your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. Flips it, middle to the running back. They'll bring him down around the 35-yard line. Under a minute left in the game. Quick throw incomplete one of his receiver. That is textbook pass defense. As soon as the ball hit the receiver's hands, he was all over him. Second and ten. Ball on their own 35. Over the middle to his tailback. He's taken down at the 46. And a quick throw. And down he goes at the 49-yard line. Third and five coming up. Ball on the 49. So this is it right here. One last play and one last chance to win the game. If they can get the Hail Mary, they'll pull out the miracle win. Once and all, going deep. Well, you can see the elation on the defensive coordinator's side of things, and why not? His defense just came up with one of the biggest stops of the game in a vital spot in this fourth quarter. Oregon State staff and really this entire team, I'm sure, is going to rally around this kid. Yeah, it's a tough loss for this team. I mean, they put so much into this game. But one thing about them is they're, they're a team. And even though their star player had a tough game, I think they'll pick him back up and get him ready to go by next week. That brings this broadcast to a close. For EA Sports and Kirk Herb Street, I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14.